In this video, I'm going to show you how to get emails working in your Flask security app, both with and without Celery. So we'll start without Celery. So let me go over to extensions.py and I'm going to set up the object for Flask Mailman. So from Flask underscore Mailman, import mail, capital M mail, and then mail equals mail right here. And then I can go over to my Dunder init and just import that. So the extensions here, just add mail. And then down at the bottom, what I can do is I can do mail.init app and then pass in the app object. Once I've done that, now I need to supply the configuration. So one configuration value will be security email sender. So this will just tell Flash Security where to send emails from. So this is my email account. So support at prettyprinter.com. And then what comes after this is the actual login information for my email account. So app config, and then we have mail server, and then I'll just put some placeholders here for the rest. So we have the server, we have the port, we have uh, use TLS. So that's use TLS. We have the username and we have the password. So the server for me is Fastmail, so smtp.fastmail.com. And by the way, you can get this information from your email provider. The port is gonna be 587, which is pretty typical. Use TLS is going to be true. The username is the same as the from, so support at prettyprinter.com. And then the password is this value that I need to paste in. So let me just copy and paste in here. So with the mail configuration setup, all I need to do is just turn on the email. So send register email, I'm going to turn that on. And then I can set security confirmable to true. So the confirmation emails will be sent. Uh, let me just add a Y there on that one configuration value, and then I can try it out. So let me go to my app, then go to register. So anthony at prettyprinter.com is my email. Password I'll put in and hit register. And notice it's taking a while, like it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. So it's not returning immediately. And now it returns. So let's go to my email. And then we see I get a message here. So this is the link. I can click on the link to confirm, but I'm not too concerned with the link. It will just take me back to my app. So we see that email is now working with the app and it was pretty easy to set up with Flask Mailman just at the configuration. So now what I wanna do is I wanna bring in Celery so the app doesn't have to wait when the user registers. So the first thing I need to do to set up Celery is I'll install it. So I'll do pip install Celery and then I'm going to use Redis as my broker. So I'll install Redis as well. And then I want to create a Docker compose file. So Docker, compose.yaml just to get Redis set up. So if you have another way of running Redis, that's fine. But in my case, I'm going to use Docker Compose. So services, I'll call it Redis. The image will be Redis. And then the ports will be uh, 6379, All right? So 6379 will be mapped to my local machine. And then I can do Docker Compose up-d to get it started in the background. And Redis should be up and running now. So I can close Docker Compose. And now I need to go over to the Flask docs and then bring in some code from the docs. And this is just a set up Celery. So I can copy this and I'll put it in my extensions.py. It can go in its own file, but I figure uh, extensions.py is fine. And I want to move the imports up. And I also need to import from Flask just to have the type hints work right here. All right, and then I want to bring in this Celery init app into my dunder init.py. So let's import that and then just call it down here at the bottom, Celery init app, and then pass an app. And while we're here, we can set up the Celery configuration. So app config Celery, it's gonna take in a dictionary. We can pass in the broker URL, which is gonna be Redis. So Redis colon slash slash, and then localhost, 6379. All right, and then let's create a file called makecelery.py. So this is outside of the app folder. And then we can copy the code from the documentation into it. Where is it? Uh, here. So we'll copy this and paste it in. And we'll just say from app because that's the name of the directory. So from app import create app. And then celery will be available. So let's get it started in my other terminal. I'll do celery a make celery, so the file I just created. Uh, we wanna start a worker, and then the logging level will be info. 
So let's see if this works. It looks like it's on. It's connected to our broker. There are no tasks yet because I haven't defined a task, but it looks like it's working. So I'll stop it. And to create the task, what I wanna do is I wanna create a file called, let's say utils.py. And in this file, I wanna create the task for sending an email. So this will be a shared task, which I'll import in a second. And I'll call this task, let's say send flask mail. And it's just gonna take in keyboard arguments. And then I'll fill that in in a second. So let me import shared task from Celery. Celery import shared task. And then what I can do is I can go to the Flask Security Library inside of my ENV. And let's find it. Okay, so Flask Security. And then I'm looking for mail util. And what I want to do is I want to copy the code for sending an email with mailman. So it's this first if here. And it's really just this part here. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it inside of my function and I'll modify it a bit. So let's fix the indentation. And then for mail, I'll need the mailman object. So from dot extensions, import mail. And then for this here, I'll make a change instead of passing arguments like this, I'll just pass the keyword arguments. So keyword arcs, because the function I'm going to call this function from the task will have the keyword arguments for me. And I need to handle this HTML. So I can just get this from the keyword arcs. So html.keywordargs.pop and then HTML. And if it doesn't exist, we'll just set it to none. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to create my own version of this class mail util. So I'll import that from Celery. So mail util, and then I'll create a class called Celery mail util. I'll inherit from that. And I just need to override the send mail method. And this method, if we go here, we'll take in these values. So self template subject recipient, self template subject and recipient. And then the next ones are sender body and HTML. So sender body, HTML, and then keyword arcs. And this should be a comma here. And then what I can do is I can call my task. So send flask mail dot delay. And then what I can do is just pass in these arguments. So subject body from email. So subject equals subject, that body equals body, HTML equals HTML. We also should have a from email. So from email here, sender. So we'll say from email equals sender. And then what am I missing? Recipient. So we have two and then a list. So two equals and then a list with recipient in it. And I believe that's it. So one, two, three, four, five here. We have one, two, three, four, five. That accounts for everything, including the HTML. So that should be enough. So let's try it. Let's start up Celery. And it's still not detecting the task. Oh, there's one last thing to do. If we go here, what we need to do is we need to import this from utils. So from .utils import and then the class that we just created. So celery mail util. And then we're gonna add it when we initialize security down here. So this is going to be mail util class like that. And now if we start celery, and that's because mail util doesn't come from celery, it comes from flask security. So import mail util. So let's try it again. Okay, so now we see the task send flask mail. So let's start the app and try to register. All right, so I'll put in my information. Hit register. It returns immediately. Let's see if we get an email. No email, so there must be an error in Celery. So email multi-alternatives, that must be misspelled. Or no, it's not misspelled, it's just not being imported. So from flask underscore mailman, import that. So let's restart Celery. All right, let's try again. So let's register 
and then put in my information. Hit enter. And it says it sent the email. Let's see if we get it. So the task succeeded and the email has arrived. So we now have the email working with Celery. It returns immediately instead of holding up this page here from loading because it's trying to send the email first. And we see down here, it took four whole seconds to send the email. So if we didn't have Celery, the user would have to sit there and wait for four seconds. So that's all I want to show you in this video, how to get email set up in Flash Security. If you're interested in learning more about Flash Security, check out the other videos on my channel.